What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4. And if it started a hundred years early, we're getting towards possibly the end now. Um, I'm not sure when. I think I was 1737 is what we're aiming for, unless you do want to see a lot more. Then I guess we can keep going. There's It's not crashed yet, so um, it's fine, I guess. <laughs> the only time it broke was when that update came out, but I, I fixed that. I think I just picked the wrong version. I, I remembered to change the version, but I picked the wrong one. <laughs> So there you go, never going to work out was it, but there is a big event of course going on out here. This is, is are they separate again? Why is Britain now in this? Yeah, but Bavaria is in two wars, but obviously the big one being this one in the east I think. I don't think Britain will get too involved, but yeah, as you can see it's not going too well so far for Russia, even with Byzantium's help here. Who are you? So they're, I'm trying to work this all out. They're just fighting Denmark, Hungary, Bavaria. Yeah, sort of Eastern Germany and all of this other stuff. Poland, I guess, essentially, in territory terms. Denmark and Hungary. And everything else that Hungary controls in this alternate universe. But yeah, that is not a good start. They are on minus 12. This was, yeah, their attack. Um, I can't, who is it against? Was it Prussia? No. Nope. It was against somebody, <laughs> obviously. I'm trying to find that province name, um, but... Oh, it was this one. It was this Polish province. Okay, but it's not gone too well for them. <clears throat> Byzantium's also under some pressure. Huge chunk of Russian territory occupied too. Sweden, I think, was just pieced out, which makes it a little bit easier, because that means no Britain either. So now it is just head-to-head, -head like this. She's pretty big, um, 1664, I, I can't say the biggest war because that Protestant League war was, you know, that had everyone from over here in it as well as all of these, so I can't really say it was that, it's as big, but probably one of the major ones. It's the first time I think Russia and Bavaria in a long time have gone head to head and will be interesting to see who comes out on top, although I think Bavaria should have this, although Russia has more troops. Um, it's hard, there's no real way to see like both sides in the war, but Russia does have a lot, 550,000. <laughs> Delhi has gone way ahead again, but they're low on manpower at the moment. Byzantium has another 260, so between them, what is that, I'm trying to do the maths, that is roughly 800,000, just over, right? 750, yeah, just roughly over 800k. Bavaria only has 230, and Hungary 175, so they might be heavily outnumbered actually, but then of course there is some allies in this. Aquileia is not in it. But Mason here, Poland. That's actually about it. Bohemia and I guess Denmark. Yeah, in theory, Russia should win then. But I don't know if they're behind on tech or anything. No, nope. equal mil techs. But minus 27. It's just not worked out for them. That is strange. Um, yeah, overall, Russia certainly has more troops. I don't know if they have them all spread out. There's a lot of stacks. Yeah, sort of, oh yeah, look, there's an 85. Maybe that can turn the tide with those two 20s as well. Once they show up. And Byzantium's... Oh, Byzantium's recovering, so maybe this is going to be... Oh, that is a huge battle, and Bavaria won somehow. <laughs> Better... Uh, morale is an important factor, isn't it? Let's see. I don't know if there's a huge difference. This is the wrong way. This way. Um, there's that, this is the only way to really do this. Russia, 4.9. Bavaria 5.1 that's 0.2 I mean it's not like it's it's better to have more than less but it's not exactly it's not the main issue there you know especially Bavaria was outnumbered by like 200k in that battle <laughs> there's a lot of Russian troops here at the moment over 200 300k maybe just down there if you include Byzantium and they have all their troops here yeah, this is this is huge. Um, it's funny because in EU4 you'll only get a small piece deal. You know, it's it's only for this one. Where even is it? It's what for one province, maybe. Bavaria actually just. Oh no, I think someone got separate piece. They didn't leave, but they were obviously stood in someone who got pieced out. Because I think it was Lithuania. I don't know. They had the black flag somehow. Maybe maybe that stack was somewhere else and had to walk all the way home. First. At least EU4, you know, it, it, it makes you abide by the um, the black flag rules, you know. <laughs> no war crimes, no taking them out as they walk home. It, it seems like a weird rule. I get it's to stop you, 
you know, putting your troops inside someone, then attacking them. That's mainly what it's there for. But before, you know, if you put them there before you attack. But still, it is, you know, it's very bold of them to assume people would follow that. <laughs> if they're walking away, you can't shoot them. There we go. That's the logic. They, they have got guns now. They're holding them. I don't know. I don't think they're very good guns, but they do have guns. Russia finally took the War Gold province, which is worth... Well, at least give them some ticking war score. They're also undoing a lot of the damage here in the south. Although the north is also pretty occupied at the moment. Hungary is... Yeah, also... Okay, Byzantium just pieced out. Did they get separate pieced? Ooh, that's bad. That's bad for Russia. Hungary can now turn itself up this way. Byzantium also was filling a lot of the gaps in this force. So yeah, now... Now it's not looking good, minus 35, and I think Bavaria can launch a bit of a comeback, but I mean, they still have 550k, or did have 550k by themselves, so I don't know. It's it's still 550k. Ooh, what, what's up? Where's everyone gone? Oh, it's because it's searching for space buttons. That's why. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll keep an eye on that. I wonder if Aquileia could form Italy. Oh, I wonder if it will happen. They are in a war right now. Which I believe might be with France. No, okay, France isn't defending Cyprus anymore. But it is with Portugal and Aragon against the Mamluks and the Hafsids. And lots of the smaller parts of former Dolkadir. But yeah, Portugal should win. Or oh, whoever's declared this. I'm guessing Aragon's declared it. They're always <laughs> attacking the Hafsids. Yep, Aragon attacked the Hafsids. And they're winning. And I mean, they have most of the world backing them. So that's not really... I say, yeah, most of the world, I mean, they have all, pretty much all of Africa, the rest of Africa that isn't their enemy is mostly on their side. And then all of, you know, all of the new world, a lot of the new world supporting them as well with resources. So yeah, there should be a win, you'd imagine, for Aragon. As long as Portugal doesn't back out and separate piece too early again. But this time it seems Portugal is very committed with all their friends as well helping out. There's just 30 stacks from all the different colonies. Yeah, this is not going to go well for the Mamluks, and it is not going well for Russia. <laughs> I think Byzantium may have um, sold them down the river here. Minus 50 war score. Obviously, look, Russia's not going to disappear. You need, I think you need 100. You'll probably need a few thousand war score. Yep, 1,619% to take every province. But you never know. This could be a rough one. If it gets towards, you know, minus 80, you can see some countries released. And if it keeps happening, that's when it gets bad. You know, there is time, I guess. Maybe maybe not for 16 wars, but there's certainly enough time to weaken them enough that other people then turn on them as well. Byzantium, for example, could turn on them. If they get weak enough, maybe Chagatai in Japan or... even It's not really Shun, but some of these other nations could turn on them too. But yeah, right now, not looking good. They still haven't... Un oh, there you go. They're finally going to unoccupy this, which will reverse the ticking war score. That was all they had left going for them. <laughs> Now they're going to lose that too. Byzantium still has a 70 stack here. I think they're just... No, wait, what? Are you still in this? I'm so confused. No, they are not in this. Why are you helping? I think they're just walking. It was just coincidence. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. This is not good for the Mamluks. They're going to, yep, lose that battle. The Hafsids fell very quickly, let alone the Mamluks. Do they just not want... Oh, it's Wasteland. I was going to why are you not going for that bit? The Mamluks are hiding in unoccupied Sahara Desert right now. That is... That's rough. Is Ethiopia allied to anyone? Just Shiwa. Okay, so these two are allies. I guess that keeps them safe from the Mamluks. Maybe, maybe not. They don't have a truce, so I'm guessing it kind of does. But at the moment, that doesn't really matter. I wonder... I mean, Aragon's obviously going to grow Aragonese Maghreb quite a bit in this, but I don't know what the peace still looks like for the Mamluks, especially if they got separate peace first. And there we go, Russia has lost, Kazan is released, uh, Bashkiria got a lot bigger. Apart from that, it doesn't seem to be too different, I don't know if anyone gained a province anywhere. Uh, click here. I don't think so, I think it's green lines if they, um, if they lost anything. Saying that, it's not doing that here, so I don't know. Yeah, I think Kazan came back. But overall, yeah, you can't do too much to them. Prussia also just conquered Riga. Yes. 
Riga is here, but they're not in Riga. <laughs> Always good. Oh, now that's over. We will focus on other events. I do see, is that, that is Sicilian Particularists. Never mind. I thought that might be Aquileia. I'm wondering if they're going to try and unite Italy. Now they have the southern part as well. It's, it's worth a try. And also, I mean, Catholicism is pretty, it's not as strong as it normally is so I feel like you could get away with taking out the Pope <laughs> there you go I said it oh who is this Gotland got released in that Danish peace deal I'm sure they'll just fall to Denmark pretty soon but there you go they're allied to like one province miners also Norway got brought back to life here as well which probably just means Britain will eat that land up is Britain is still sticking by Sweden I, I feel like they should find I'm sure there's someone out there who wants to be their friend, all right? You can't have France, Portugal, or Aragon. That's okay. You can't have the Mamluks. They're too far away. Surely Denmark or Bavaria maybe is interested. I know you've got a peace deal, but if you improve relations, I'm sure it's doable. What's going on over here? French Canada is getting a lot bigger, as is Canadian Hudson Bay, which is, of course, the Scottish former Scotland nation. <laughs> they're growing. I feel like we're going to see some wars in the old world for stuff in the new world soon. The 13 colonies is also getting quite big. I wonder when, will, will we get an independent USA? That would be pretty cool. Nouve Flandre did not take off, I thought it would, but they, they sort of, I guess they just ran out of space maybe. France in general has been very passive this game. They've not really done anything for a while. They lost those wars, they just sat here. They, at some point they even lost this province, I don't know when that happened. It must have been the last peace deal, whenever that was. Hainaut is in a war with is that Siena. Who? What? What is going on? Ooh, Papal State v Hainaut and Bar. Okay. Russia just back in again with the wars, venting out their anger on the White Horde and Chagatai as well. They're not slowing down. Mamluks not finished off yet. They're putting up some resistance, but they are going to lose eventually. <laughs> How's South America looking? I believe it's still three sort of main parts. Although that is Alba. That is impressive showing up. <laughs> Portuguese Colombia has now arrived. Um, Castilian Colombia is quite big. And then obviously Rio de Prata, very big. And Aragonese Brazil, I think one of the biggest colonies as well. I don't know which one's the number one right now. Um, it, it's changed a bit. It was Mali last time, wasn't it? How is that looking now? Are any of them on the front page yet? Not yet. Hungary. There's a bit of a drop. Okay, not particularly close. 13 colonies is now for development above Mali. So there we go. They are growing. I don't know if that's influencing Britain and the great powers. Nope, they're still eighth. So not having a huge impact. But that is... Maybe a chance for a US. I don't know how they. Well, I, get, I was going to say how would they compete with the Mexico, but if they've got that much development, they'd probably be okay. But getting independence is something else. I wonder if Alba will form a colonial nation, or will this just stay as Alban territory? That is pretty cool, though. Right, we did get a peace deal, and Aragonese Maghreb did grow. The two Sicilies were given this province back, I believe, which is a weird one, but okay. <laughs> They must have kept a core on it. Oh my goodness, Chagatai. Yeah, you are... This is... I feel like you're just... This is just revenge. <laughs> that you weren't even involved in in the first place. It's not going well. Um, we should see quite... Probably quite a big... Transfer of land here. I'll make up for their defeat. <laughs> Japan at some point took a lot more of Korea. We missed this, but now they yeah, they have a lot more of this off of Goryu. Uh, they still didn't take the province here. But never mind. Maybe their plan is to take all the mainland territory and then keep this province just to annoy them. Who is this? Oh, that is the White Horde. I don't know how they walked all the way over here but they're being followed by an awful lot of troops 
it's funny that they've like this is a four thousand people and they've just sent over like three hundred thousand on a walk that's taken probably like two years. <laughs> that, that is funny. Uh, Aqualea, have you grown? Uh, that looks new. You look just in this area where Milan used to be a lot bigger. I, I, probably not, but it does look bigger. There we go. It looks relatively peaceful. I see a Sicily v two Sicily's war. Um, obviously Russia's going after the White Horde. The Mamluks doesn't look like anything too bad happened to them in that peace deal. Portugal, oh Portugal, they're just not slowing down. I thought they'd leave Ethiopia and Shiwa, but they're going after that as well. <laughs> they just want all the territory in Africa. I don't know, are they number one at the moment? No, Delhi is still above them, but you have to think that eventually having a whole continent <laughs> will come into come into play. But yeah, to be fair, Delhi has been slowly growing. You can see they're just looking chunkier. They've been taken, slowly eaten away at well this is the Maldives but it wasn't the Maldives whoever was down here that was the biggest country before since become the Maldives uh, I think it was who was it before I don't know who it was before but it wasn't the Maldives Hoysala uh, whoever it is they've taken them out but yeah Delhi obviously very powerful as well they've kept to themselves mostly I mean they've left Southeast Asia pretty much alone China Shun just never really came back they are annexing Song, who is one province. I think for them they are punished by having no no mandate. They get quite a few negative modifiers as you can see, but they're obviously still big enough to survive, so it's kind of a it's not really led to anything. Oh, Denmark formed Scandinavia with that must be the smallest Scandinavia I've ever seen, but there we go. They get the job done. I was going to look for something. I saw there was some imperial authority, but it's still going down. It's not going down as much. If Bavaria can fix some things, the the, her, the heretic princes is going to be quite difficult, though, to fix. If they were to go on sort of some rage and convert everyone back again, then there's a chance they could still form the HRE, and it would be mega strong as well. They're still not integrating Hungary. I believe it is an option, and they have not, not started yet. And they're just happy with Hungary being independent. Well, not independent, but you know what I mean. Just as a PU, do their own thing. I mean, it, it's easier to... Ma oh my goodness, this is overkill. Who is that? Who is this? To Britsin. Kuyavia. I believe they allied... Um, they were allied to um, Sweden, but I guess Sweden betrayed them. <laughs> oh, was it not? I think it was Sweden. It was allied to them. And Sandemirs, and I guess they betrayed them. And there we go. They did take that province. They, they've been pretty cautious before Bavaria but they did they fancied that one for Bavarian Western Europe it does look very quiet there's a little war between the Hafsids the Sicilies and Sicily um, I don't know who's on oh and the Mamluks okay well yeah I mean the Mamluks and Hafsids should win that one There's a lot of black flagged Byzantium troops. I guess they're coming back from Chagatai. Russia did finish off the White Horde, finally, after 300 plus years. Since they were they were one of the best at the start. So there you go. And they took a bit here, I think, off Chagatai as well. Because their font is no longer all up here in the corner. It's come the whole way around. See if I, I want to see how far I can zoom out. Try and show you the whole world. I'm going to have to pause while I do it though. There you go, 1st of January, 1676. There you go. Sorry, this box is in the way of Indonesia. <laughs> Portugal, Majapur here is here. Aragonese Pacific is also now a thing. So this is going to be a very Spanish-Portuguese cultured, culturally influenced world. I think even Castile in Colombia. South America, certainly. Very Iberian, as will be Africa now. Getting that influence. Um, North America is different. You've got French, Scottish... Saying that, the Comanche are killing Canada, so that might be the end for them. Aragonese, California, and Mexico. Obviously, you've got the 13 colonies, which will be English. Uh, yeah, there's bits of French as well. Dotted around, you're going to have Alba, Amazon. There you go, that's a very different, type, very different part of the Amazon.
Portugal is at war against Castilla and Colombia. Oh my goodness, they are just greedy, aren't they? These two countries. <laughs> to be fair, France is finally doing something. Uh, in the Netherlands territories, not much. A couple of provinces, but there you go. I don't even know if this is their war. It might be Galray's war. Why does Utrecht have a star after their name? Don't know. Maybe it just means they're the main one. Oh, Russia. Well, Kazan's recovery didn't last too long. Russia attacking Minsk and Kazan. No, easily finished that. Riga fought back against Prussia. But took every province except from Riga. Although they're sieging it down now, to be fair. Wait, Russia. I'm confused. Is this the same war or not? No. But Russia is allied to Riga. Ah, okay. Yeah, they should... Just peace out for all this stuff. I don't know, unless someone else is involved. Um, nope, no one else. 29 war score. What other land? Minsk and Dort... Oh, okay. Min yeah, Dortmund's hard to get to. I get that. <laughs> Imagine if someone gives them open borders and they actually come through. Bavaria's known another... Maybe they are going to start converting all the heretics. They're, they're in here. Oh my goodness, they actually are. Wait, what? Where did they get? They must. That must have been from an event. But, I mean, it's minus 0 0.05, so it's not... They don't have to do a huge amount to turn it around. Um, and th don't they get, like, bonuses for adding provinces to the HRE? Like, I mean, if they were to integrate Hungary, that would obviously help a lot. I don't think they will. So what happens with Bosnia if Hungary is integrated? Cause, I mean, there are only two provinces now, but they are in March. So I don't know what would happen. In that scenario. Bavaria did just peace out of that war. I don't know if they are trying to convert. Potentially. It does look like it could have been. Mamluks v Oman. Yep. Oman had loads of troops earlier. But I don't think they'll be able to do this by themselves, especially not with Hassa. Yeah, that's that's rough. Poor Oman. I mean, they are between Delhi and these guys. Yep, there's a peace deal actually in Hassa. Takes most of the coast. Yeah, I mean, being next to Delhi, I'm not sure Hassa. Did you think that through? I guess the Mamluks will prevent them ever losing too badly, but still, Delhi could wipe the floor with both of them pretty easily but yeah luckily obviously war score with the Mamluks on your team it, it's quite hot it makes it a lot harder these guys have been doing quite well in the blue I noticed Tajung Tajung Paran yeah they're, they're quite high on the sort of second page of um, they're sort of just off the first page in terms of development Major Pahit's been doing well as well although they're losing now so never mind <laughs> look at that that is a, like a perfect straight line there's a little dent in it, but mostly just a perfect straight line. <laughs> Portuguese Australia. Crown colony of Portugal. Oh, they have Portuguese Perth as well. Is that separate? No. Okay, it's just the naming of the tiles. I was say, imagine it was separate. We'd have a little rivalry between the two. Russia actually didn't take Minsk because Dortmund <laughs> was too hard to get to. That is... Wow. Okay. The Hafsids now have Sicily and Naples. There we go. That is... What's that going to do? State religion, I guess, is now... Um, is that Sunni? Yeah. That's not even far from Rome. <laughs> Corsica is a Sunni province, actually. There you go. Maybe... Protestantism was doing so well, but maybe it'll be Sunni that gets Rome first. Okay, well, it's getting interesting. Canada did lose quite a bit to the Comanche over here. It's a shame for them. Sorry, Canada. But that is going to be it for today. So, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.